This patient is a 33-year-old Madeline Prieto who complains of bilateral ear pain that has been constant for the past three days. The ear pain originated after diving in the Gulf of Mexico and since she has described her ears as feeling full and complaining of muffled hearing loss. The patient describes this pain as a level 7 and there is nothing that makes her pain better or nothing that makes her pain worse. The pain does not radiate and she has never had pain like this in the past. She does admit to having a low-grade fever of 100.6 and having the feeling of fullness in each ear. She does have some congestion, bilateral ear pain, and, um, and some hearing loss, and the sounds are feeling muffled. The patient does deny any nausea, discharge from the ears, sinus pain, sinus pressure, vomiting, dizziness, diarrhea, migraines, and shortness of breath or throat pain. The patient is allergic to penicillin and describes her reaction to the penicillin as a rash. She is up to date on all of her immunizations, including influenza and COVID-19. On the physical exam, she revealed bilateral tympanic membranes that were non-mobile with the valsalva. They appeared erythematous and bulging. The patient did not complain of any sinus pressure or pain, but the nares were congested on the exam. Um, common tr- uh, treatments for otitis media, which is what I believe it is, um, are amoxicillin or augmentin. However, she is allergic to penicillin, so in that case, I would prescribe her a second-generation cephalosporin, such as uh, ceftin. I would educate her that if she has any allergic reactions, to this to let me know immediately and I would give her um, uh, Afrin for three days and have her when she finishes the Afrin dose do a nasal steroid such as Flonase. I would also recommend 325 to 1000 milligrams of acetaminophen for the pain and I would also recommend that she does has a follow-up as soon as she finishes her medication.